Brookie Hawa Brakata, you how sha brook the Hawa Brakata, you how sha Ba Hashem Rakakwadash the honors to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. Lesson will be entitled I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom. Lord will you are edified. This video is a follow-up video I did on yesterday, okay? Now, when it comes to three videos per week, which is the bare minimum, okay, for brothers to actually do the work of the Most High, you know, and if you can, you know, you're supposed to do a video per day, regardless, all right? So, this order slash command came from Apostle Tahar. And when it comes to the thoughts of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, they are with this process. Okay? They are with this process. Because remember, Yahweh Shai stated that in the temple, right, prior to him being arrested, he stated, I taught daily. I taught daily. Okay, in the temple, I talk daily. All right, so when it comes to us doing the will of the Most High, it's always more things we can do. And to be frank, you know, one video is not enough, okay, per day. Let's just be honest, because when it comes to the will of Yahweh Hashem Al Shah, we can never measure up, okay? <clears throat> but the point of this lesson is. Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are with this process. They are with this order. And let's prove that. Let's go to Matthew chapter 16 and verse 14. And they said, some say that you are John the Baptist, some Elias and others, Jeremiah's or one of the prophets. Verse 15, he said unto them, but whom say you that I am? And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. And Simon Peter answered and said, you are the anointed. Okay, in the Hebrew, Mashiach, which means anointed. The son of the living power. And Yahweh Shah answered and said unto him, Blessed are you, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood has not revealed it unto you, but my Father which is in heaven. This is an example of the Holy Spirit, people. Verse 18, and I said also unto you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Okay, so Yahweh is telling Peter, okay, you have the authority after me, which only makes sense that King David was Peter. Okay, hence the house of David. And when it comes to the body of Yahweh Shah, which is symbolic for the church, that King David is underneath, directly underneath Yahweh Shah. Okay, so again, and I say also unto you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, right? That spiritual temple, which is the government body of the kingdom to come, which consists of 144,000 Israelite men, 12,000 out of each tribe. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So Satan can't do shit, okay? Period. Okay? Satan can't do nothing in the format of Esau or in the format of these two thirds. It's nothing he can do. Period. Verse 19. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Keys is symbolic for authority. Right? So when Yahweh Shai departed, okay, back to the spiritual realm, right? He gave all authority to Peter, which was a man. And whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be lose in heaven. Meaning what? The decisions you make, right? The decisions that you make, Yahweh and me are with it.
Why? Because we are all one. <clears throat> you know what? Let me just go to... Well, let's prove that. I want to say it's in John... Check this out. So John 17 and verse 20. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the word may believe, Salakia, that the world may believe that you have sent me. Right? So again, John 17 and 21 that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. So again, <clears throat> Matthew 16 and 19, and I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall loose lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven right so peter had the keys meaning the authority to make the spiritual decisions on earth and these decisions would be honored in heaven okay by yahweh and yahweh shah because peter was in the same spirit and it's the same process with Apostle Tohar. At this time frame, who has the keys? Apostle Tohar. Okay, he has the authority, whether you believe it or not. So whatever, right, he binds on earth, it will be it, it shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever he lose on earth, lose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. Right? Because Peter is in the spiritual realm. King Masha is in the spiritual realm. And at this time frame, Apostle Tahar has the keys. So let's read this in Matthew 16 and 19 in the NLT. And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you forbid on earth will be forbidden in heaven. And whatever you permit on earth will be permitted in heaven. Meaning what? Apostle Tahar, right? has the authority to put out orders, period. Whether it's doing three videos uh, per week to one video per day, or even going out there on the highways and the byways multiple times a week, he has the authority to do so. See, you niggas are not spiritual, okay? And everybody wants to be the top dog, you know? But at the end of the day, right, those of us that has the spirit, we understand that Apostle Tahar, okay, has the keys of the kingdom of heaven. So fuck you scoffers, get your videos ready. Because frankly, my dear, I don't give a fuck. Let's go to Second Peter. Two and eleven. And let's start at verse 9 in <clears throat> the KJV, further proving the point. The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government, presumptuous are they self-willed. And that's what presumptuous mean. 
They are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Dignities, okay? The apostles of Great Millstone, okay? At this time frame, we can put this in the frame of this context to speak evil of dignities because at the end of the day, okay, the heads of Israel begins with Apostle Tahar trickling down to the rest of the apostles, okay? Trickling down to the elders in Connecticut, okay, and so on and so forth. All right, and let me show you how important these men are. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might. Why? Because they are in the celestial form, and at this time frame, the apostles are in their earthly form, okay? Bring not railing accusations against them before the Lord. This precept supports how important these men are, which further proves the first precept that I got, okay? So let's read this in the NLT, verse 11. But the angels, right, who are greater in power and strength, do not dare to bring from the Lord a charge of blasphemy against those supernatural beings. And what makes these individuals, the apostles, supernatural? Because although they are in their earthly form, they have the Holy Spirit. And by default, that's being supernatural. Okay? So, yes, when it comes to doing three videos a day, okay, or five videos a day, which we already know is one video uh, per day, minimum three videos per week, we know that Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are with this because the keys at this time frame, meaning the authority, Apostle Tahar, Apostle Tahar has it. Okay, so Lord will, you are edified, Shalom.